What I want to talk to you about is brackets right now. And I kind of want to walk you through like, this is over 65 inches tall. It's over 45 inches out. It's custom made. It's actually covering a concrete block about 12 by 12 and about 25 inches long. And basically we built this to decorate it to get rid of the eyesore. This is the jewelry. But like us growing up in a family business and then having our parents instilling these hardworking blue collar values like work don't ever stop working you can sleep when you're dead you know and and that is like something grandpa showed us mom and dad showed us and now like Lionel he shows us by leading by example and he makes us feel bad because we don't work as much as him so we're in Ala Mirada. we're visiting with uh, Brett and we're uh, kind of just going, delivering some nails because they're putting up some products and then we, need, we had some specialty nails for them. Como estas? Muy bien, gracias. So in this project, we're doing a housing of non-traditional timber frame, which is like a concrete beam, but we're trying to make it look like traditional timber frame. So what we did is we housed the beam in PVC and brought it out and made it look like it was a continuous structural beam as you can see here, and we made two of them, so we didn't have one huge, massive beam. And that's what we talk about, size and scale. This massive wood beam would look so out of scale and so off that it really wouldn't be attractive. So when we broke it down into two components, it really prettied it up. Anybody can install your product. Any one of my crews can do it. Yeah, that's, I kind of like the beauty of it. Detailed items like these gable ends, mm -hmm. certain people have to do it, but your product, any one of my crews can just install it. I love it. that. You come down and give us a little direction, the nail guns, some advice, yep. Yep. and in 20 days the job is complete. All right, so then three, four, four, three, yep. four, five. Yeah, whenever you're ready, it's fine. Right, cool. I'll call you when I'll come back up from there. Thanks, you guys are awesome. All right, so we're uh, just leaving Ala Mirada. We just left Rhett's house, and uh, now we're heading down to Marathon, where we're going to be meeting with Design Source, which is a premier builder in the Keys. Hey, Dave. Hey buddy, I just want to give you a heads up. I'm probably going to be like there right around the 11 o'clock. Okay, that's fine with me. All right, cool. Awesome. These are innovative, really smart, awesome guys. Uh, my name is Franco Descanio, Jr. Uh, we've been around since 58, actually. My grandparents came from Italy. You see a lot of furnishings around, but really, it's a design center. Since we're architects, you know, we do everything in-house, licensed interior designers, landscape architects. What we can do is, we can also piece out the services. One thing I noticed about you guys is the quality. Your quality is above and beyond everybody else. Yeah, expectations are high. Yeah. <laughs> the cool thing about this is the owner has a concept in his mind, and he's going to He's, he has an architectural firm, so they're going to take this Mediterranean style house and they're going to put like that tropical, modern flair on it. And to me, it's my favorite new look. Really cool, really excited. It's going to be one of a couple that I'm going to be doing with Franco. Franco is third generation contractor. He's an engineer. He's an architect. He's been born into a construction family, so very well rounded in, in, in the game. Explain to me what they're talking about. Yeah, so they're gonna put a new trellis system in here, trellis on either side of the jacuzzi, and then columns with a rooftop very similar to the gazebo. The trellis is gonna run into there where they're gonna actually put a door. I'm about to shoot a huge kingfish. I kind of freeze up because it's just such a beautiful fish going by me. And I shoot and it just bounces off. And then as soon as I like start pulling my line, I see like a 10 foot bull shark swimming around down there. Okay, time to go. <laughs> My brother said he was watching me from the top and I was trying to get the line undone and it went right, right over me. But I didn't feel it because it's just so smooth. The shark went right over me. This thing is seaworthy, right? Yeah. On certain days. Franco has plenty to live for. <laughs> he ain't trying to die either. But then again, he swims with bull sharks. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not worried about a a dying. Snapper. I'm worried yeah. about swimming. <laughs> Yeah, so we're on uh, our way to a private island project for Design Source. The house, just in its general design, I think is the cool part. You know, our 
embellishments with the, the, de the finite details is pretty cool as well, but like really this house has awesome character and awesome bones and it's got a huge wraparound porch, which I think is one of the coolest designs you can give a house for entertainment value. So this, the first and second floor beams are all concrete. The third floor is a wood beam, so we're gonna house that in our PVC beam wrap, and then we're gonna, um, we're gonna wrap the galvanized steel columns with a uh, Hardy Boys PVC column as well. We're gonna put a louver across this opening right here. So if you can envision this, this distance right here coming across, having a louver, it's really gonna cut down on the impact from the sun. This is gonna be all TNG up here. Yeah, I think we could definitely, I, I, I would definitely work on my margins and I think I could get you to where, yeah, you're gonna spend more than clear pine, but you're gonna save it on the installation. You're gonna have less seams and it's gonna, there's, there's no way that it installs in the same amount of time because every board's perfect. And every board just goes up and it clicks. It's just like, boom. There's no wedging. You know, yeah, you always see the guys wedging it and doing all kinds of manipulation to keep it straight. It's all just straight. The adhesive comes with the package and we just, we rec highly recommend the stainless steel if you guys need it faster, which I know how you guys work, you don't, but if you need the stainless steel, we can supply everything together. Okay. You know, so when you're dealing with islands or, or far off projects, you need a complete comprehensive package of products. And then you just show up to the job and start putting stuff in place. It's all about layout first, but then you start putting stuff in place and it's all ready, cut, and done. All right, so uh, yeah, we're uh, pulling off the island with my main man, Franco, which I'm super pumped to be working with. Um, this is my first experience with him and so far it's all positive, all good. From here we're gonna leave and we're gonna head up to Island Marauder. We're gonna go meet with Brett on his uh, residence. So why a garage trellis? I'll tell you why. That. Look at this wall, and doesn't it look better because of it? It's a design feature. It's an element that we're putting on facades of homes to give something to pop, something to make it more interesting. That's the objective in decorative elements, is to improve the aesthetic by giving a good look. This is the jewelry. This is the part where we make something enhanced. We improve through adding decorative elements. When you look up inside this bracket, you'll see a solid component, you know? It's solid. That's the part where everything's housed in there. And there's 10 inches of concrete that's holding up this structural roof that's hidden behind this. And we brought it down just to give it detail. We used this double bracket look throughout the house because we had several of these concrete blocks to cover. So let me take you to another spot. So we've got a bracket that's 48 by 65, huge, right? Now check this out. Here we have a bracket, completely different rake. It's in a rake soffit. The soffit's coming down at an angle. It's very common in Caribbean architecture. This is coming down at an angle now. Same bracket, just a different way of putting it together, different angles, different dimension. But now we're tying, we're tying elements around the house. Up on the gable end, now you have a 36 inch deep by 44, 40, 50 inches tall, I don't have the measurements on me. But what I'm trying to show is diversity in design. All right, so uh, we're out at a house here in Isla Mirada. It's being built by uh, Jeff Wooster from RTG Construction, uh, somebody we've been doing business with for years. And uh, he's a real, real educated, top-notch guy. He's honest, he's got great ideas. He puts together a quality product and I've seen it time and time again. He worked with Richard Jones from Richard Jones Architecture out of Del Rey, another great guy. And, uh, you know, Jeff uh, brought us in on this to just add some elements, you know? He just, he's keeping this, uh, to, it's a beautiful home here and can't wait to show you these ceilings and the brackets and these details that we're helping him out with. leaving the keys awesome day down there we went all the way down to marathon this on this trip and uh, we're on a private island uh, home really cool it's kind of interesting doesn't happen very often here in the states like and subscribe right and that the game like and subscribe what do they have to do to like and subscribe like just so the, like, the one button, button you don't. push no but I like my like my mom said Dave I don't know how to do that so 
What is it? Like, it's a, it's a thumb, right? And it's like right there. Somewhere. And you're supposed to hit it and then like type on the keyboard and say, wow, that was fun. Hey, Corey, throw us a pop-up. Thanks, <laughs> Thank you.